Hello wonderful person! Did an ancient asteroid strike Earth and destroy an ancient advanced civilization? Basically erasing all signs of super advanced civilization living right here on the planet? No. No it didn't. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Wait what? I have to, I have to tell more? I have to explain it? But it's obvious. It's a conspiracy theory. Okay, fine, I guess I'll give them some facts. Alright, so welcome back. Let's talk a little bit more about this very unusual but somewhat interesting conspiracy theory going around that um, this uh, crater that NASA discovered only a few weeks ago, right here in Greenland, that actually is a sign of an asteroid that was about a kilometer in size, um, seems to be in the center of this really old, or I guess somewhat old, conspiracy theory going around about basically an ancient civilization that was destroyed by an asteroid. Now, let's um, not go into too much detail, but what I wanted to talk about are the facts that make this hypothesis a little bit unrealistic. And I wanted to basically just give you the facts that are presented by the conspiracy theorist and explain why they're kind of all over the place. So first of all, yes, we know that there is actually an impact here and we don't know anything about the actual age of the impact. So, so far, the estimates suggest that this is probably one of the most recent impacts, but it could be anywhere from about 10,000, 11,000 years old to 3 million years old. Until we actually date the rocks and find out the exact date of uh, some of these asteroids, we're not going to be able to answer these questions. Now, um, scientifically, there is actually a little bit of evidence that um, about 12,000 years ago, um, a layer of nano diamonds was actually deposited in the sediment, very similar to the nano diamonds discovered about 65 million years ago uh, from an asteroid that um, may have killed the dinosaurs. As a matter of fact, these nano diamonds would actually suggest that maybe something did strike our planet about 12,000 years ago but it doesn't actually indicate anything about this particular asteroid we just discovered in Greenland. There's absolutely no connection. On the other hand, we also know that around uh, 12,000 to maybe 13,000 years ago, there was a sudden drop in temperature uh, on our planet that is still not entirely well understood, known as the Younger Dryas um, period that uh, resulted in a mini ice age for about a thousand years. And um, it just so happens that because we don't really have an exact explanation, there's several theories going around. Um, a lot of people or a lot of scientists speculate that maybe it is related to some kind of an impact. But once again, no connection to the one discovered uh, by NASA very recently. And the other very common uh, evidence that's usually given is the fact that around the same time, or I guess within about 2000 years from that particular period, a lot of the very large animals, specifically megafauna, that used to be very, very common in North America, including, you know, mammoths and these rhino looking things whose name I don't actually remember anymore, and I used to know it, um, and a lot of other creatures, even uh, things like camels uh, or camel-like uh, creatures that used to roam around North America, uh, went extinct, and uh, they went extinct without any reason that's um, clearly understood just yet. And so, altogether, this kind of adds up to a pretty clear picture that maybe, just maybe, a very large asteroid or comet did strike our planet around this period and basically caused all of these things to happen. But what about the civilization thing? Where is that coming from? Well, it's actually coming from a discovery in Turkey of several uh, relatively large religious objects and structures um, in a region known as Gobekli Tepe. Uh, these particular structures are dated at around 11,000 years old, and for the most part, um, they seem to indicate that there was a relatively, I guess you could say, advanced civilization that was able to construct these relatively large structures, and um, they also seem to have some kind of a religious event um, actually described there, I personally don't really see it, and it's right here on the screen, it's basically the bird with something in its hands, um, and it was interpreted as basically a uh, cometary event that this particular culture witnessed. Now, altogether, it does make sense, and this is why a lot of uh, conspiracy theories do actually consider this to be a relatively good explanation. There is, however, one problem with all of these um, events that I just described none of them actually happened at the same time. And let me actually go through um, the Wikipedia entries for these events, just so you can actually see how unlikely this have been actually related at all. So first of all, let's start with the Younger Dryas event uh, that lasted for about a thousand years and 
may have caused another mini ice age. This event happened uh, anywhere from about 13,000 to about 11,700 years ago, and we know this very specifically because of the actual um, sediments that we studied and ice layers taken from Greenland and other parts of the world where we actually were able to see the changes in temperature and date them very precisely. So we know this is exactly when it happened. On the other hand, the animals that I mentioned that went extinct, um, they basically disappeared in the so-called uh, Quaternary Extinction Event, which actually happened um, basically 2,000 years after that. So way after the actual glaciation event. On the other hand, one major problem with the theory of these animals basically being destroyed by an asteroid is that there were quite a lot of the animals left, um, specifically mammoths actually, for several thousand years, but they were able to survive on islands. And it actually islands very close to where Greenland is. So if there was an actual asteroid or comet strike, why did it not destroy these um, island mammoths? And the best explanation here is because the humans never made it to those islands. And one of the best explanations for the extinction of those animals is that, well, this guy here died of thirst, but the other relatives of this mammoth died because basically humans hunted them to extinction. This is actually the most plausible and the most um, logical explanation. We basically just killed all of the larger um, fauna that was roaming around North America. And the ones that were isolated on islands and were actually uh, away from human habitation survived just fine. Furthermore, the Gobekli Tepe structures were created anywhere from about 700 to 1000 years after the mini glaciation event. So if the glaciation event was actually caused by the comet, um, it's very unlikely that it would be actually described on these tablets. And it's very unlikely that it in any way affected the culture that created these particular um, columns. And the current estimates actually suggest that this particular culture lived for maybe about 2000 years in this particular region and then just abandoned it. We don't really know why, but it was actually not destroyed. It was literally abandoned and they even preserved the temples that they built by putting uh, a bunch of pebbles around them and making sure that the actual columns would not collapse. So it was kind of cleverly but very unusually abandoned by whoever lived in this particular region. And although it's possible that the glaciation event itself was actually caused by a comet or an asteroid, nothing else suggests that it destroyed the fauna or caused any extinction. And um, it doesn't really suggest that the, any, there was any civilization that was destroyed by it either. In other words, even though it's possible this asteroid or this comet actually did affect our planet relatively recently, as early as 12,000 years ago, and maybe even caused the glaciation, although there are other explanations, there is nothing to suggest that um, it destroyed any advanced human civilization, especially because an advanced human civilization would have left a lot of telltale signs of their existence, including a lot of trash. I mean, look around, right? We've left quite a lot of things for people to explore in the next few thousand years. All of this plastic is going to be around for quite a while. And, well, let's summarize what we know and what we don't know. So first of all, yes, we know that there was a meteorite impact in Greenland. We don't know when it happened. Yes, we know that uh, a lot of megafauna, a lot of animals disappeared basically around 10,000 to possibly 9,000 years ago. Some of them, though, survived on tiny islands, isolated islands, very close to, I guess, where Greenland is and um, northern Russia specifically. Um, and we think that basically humans killed them. Uh, we hunted them to extinction, which kind of makes sense. It's still happening even today. We don't really know if any one of them died from an asteroid impact, and there's nothing to suggest that it, they did. Lastly, we know that there was a culture, a very interesting culture, that existed about 11,000 years ago, and then they kind of just left. And it was actually in Anatolia, which is part of Turkey today. We don't really know why they left. Um, we don't really know who they were. But we know that they weren't destroyed by an asteroid. We know that um, they actually were most likely not destroyed at all. They just kind of left. But we know that the first structure that they built um, was actually about a thousand or even 1500 years after the end of the so-called mini glaciation event. And we do know that there was a mini glaciation event that lasted for about 1500 years, although not in the same period as the other events. And um, we think that it may have been caused by a collision, but it also may have been caused by a nearby supernova. Actually, Vela supernova is one of the possible candidates. 
And we also think uh, that maybe, just maybe, it was actually a very interesting event known as sea eruption, where essentially water causes um, the ocean currents to shut down and to stop circulating heat as well, thus cooling the planet. There's actually a really good explanation on Wikipedia that kind of explains a lot of this. So all in all, there are more things we don't know than we do know. And so jumping to a conclusion and saying that an ancient advanced civilization was destroyed by a comet that we discovered in Greenland is not really cool. It's not scientific at all. There's nothing to suggest that, like absolutely nothing. We, did, we didn't even date the rocks uh, coming from Greenland yet. We don't even know when it happened. But anyway, that's just a theory, a science theory. Okay, I think this is probably copyrighted. Yeah, I shouldn't be using that. Anyway, so on that note, um, I'm going to stop talking about this. Um, and I'm also going to ask you for your opinion. Uh, what do you think? So first of all, do you think that this particular event may have actually caused some kind of a dramatic extinction where humans were involved and may have actually perished? And most importantly, uh, what I'm going to actually do is I want to talk about this ancient civilization that I briefly mentioned in this video because they do have a lot of really interesting unanswered questions that were left. But once again, they were not advanced, they were not some kind of ancient astronauts, and they were not really even to the point where they had metal tools. But they were, they were able to construct some really cool rocks that um, can actually still be seen in Turkey. Anyway, so um, until next video, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out, and as always, bye-bye. And most importantly, uh, do subscribe if you still haven't, and maybe even share this video with someone who wants to know more about science, space, and history in some sense and doesn't really want to deal with conspiracy theories. Because honestly, that's not really what I want to do in this channel. Even though I do want to talk about science, I'm not really going to speculate about stuff that is not really scientific. Anyway, space out, and as always, bye-bye.